we found out how to get a good value for sine um, average sine theta right here um, and the standard deviation and then doubling it plus and doubling it minus here we're going to use those values for data studio to get a, a good plot here a good plot starts with kinetic energy going up peaking and then going back down and the general shape of potential should be opposite that going down and then going back up okay and then the total energy is the sum of these two now I hope you see right off the bat that this total energy does not look good uh, the reason is first law of thermodynamics says that energy is not going to be created nor destroyed and yet right here we see that energy is being created now I'm okay with the energy being presumably destroyed right here simply because there's non-conservative forces at work along the track and those non-conservative forces mean the energy is changing forms it's not really being destroyed it's just leaving the mechanical energies of potential and kinetic and being converted into heat and sound etc so we need to figure out how to get this total energy plot to be proper now it's not fixing the data we have uncertainties in our data and unless you're prepared to to get a Nobel in physics you know for how the energy was created in the system well let's evaluate sine theta according to our measurements so we're gonna start with um, 0, 0.0 well actually before we do that let's leave it there at 0 0.04 that was my initial bad guess okay I want to talk about um, this value x naught all right, x naught sits right here in the equation, and it was the distance from the motion sensor to x naught down to some position where if the cart sits there, it has zero height. Okay, so this h right here is going to be smaller and smaller and smaller as the cart goes down until the h is zero when the cart is sitting x u naught away from the sensor. And so the hypotenuse here is what allows us to find a value for H related to the motion sensor measurement of X. X u naught is a constant, and sine theta is a constant. Here is theta. Okay, it's this angle between the, the track and the table. X u naught is simply going to shift the potential energy graph up or down vertically. If I, let's see here, if I, um, here, I have a graph of total energy, and I'm going to change this x u naught value to be 10 meters away. And we'll see that, yeah, these plots changed, but just in scale, this shape did not change at all. The scale here in millijoules changed wildly. Let's go down to 0.5. So the shape of total energy did not change. It just simply shifted on the vertical axis of total energy. So I think I had 1.6 to begin with for x u naught. So x u naught is not going to allow us to um, do the proper physics here with this total energy not sloping upwards. Instead, it's inside sine theta. So let me go back to the Excel file to make sure that we can see the values for sine theta. 0 0.0496, 0 0.0496 is a better value and this is looking pretty good. Now I really don't know it out to that many decimal places because my uncertainty is at the third decimal place. So I would have to round this up to 0 0.05. Still looks pretty decent. Let's look at a graph of just the total energy again. And notice that right in here, this region is where the cart is slowing down and stopping. And it looks like, pretty interestingly, that the slope right there it better be negative and it is and if I choose a little different spot it's still negative and that's good because we're always losing energy due to non-conservative forces but it appears that the rate of loss of energy is less right here than it is right here now think back to that track and that cart as the cart was traveling up the track do you remember how noisy it was and then it got up here it was quieter and quieter and then it was silent and then it got a little noisier and pretty noisy and by the time it was down here it had a lot of motion a lot of kinetic energy and a lot of noise okay the wheels and the bearings and the wheels rubbing against the track all these things um, created sound 
And so it appears from that thought alone that the faster the card is moving, the more energy I should be losing from non-conservative forces. And on average, the card is moving faster on the first half than it is on the second half. So I would actually expect to see this plot have more loss in the first part, stable out, still losing, and then have loss but less on the second part. So we're not looking for symmetry here, something a little bit different than symmetry. And so I'm going to vary this sine theta within the values allowed to me by Excel, um, by the values in Excel. I can go from 0 0.039 to 0 0.061. And so I'm going to type in um, 0 0.039 and see what happens. Total energy goes up and then back down. So we know that, no, 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 that's the wrong sine theta. See, here's my sine theta plus our, um, the uncertainty. Oh, you know what? I built this file kind of funny. That's goofy. Um, I should have said minus um, 0 0.01 because I'm doubling this standard deviation right here. And hit return, and so there's my total energy going up. And so now I can say plus 0 0.001 because I'm taking the the average, excuse me, and adding twice the uncertainty. And now it goes up and back down. So somewhere within all these sine thetas, within the range of your standard deviation times 2, plus or minus, you'll find the sweet spot that loses more at the beginning. Well, this one is not it. So 0 0.004. No, so I'm going to do minus 0, 0, 004. Now I'm losing a whole lot more and less at the end. So do you see how we're doing this? So I'm just going to make this number smaller, see if I can balance it out a little bit more. And I'm kind of liking that number, so I'm going to do that one. I'm losing a lot, not so much because it's slowing down, but still losing. And then I'm losing again, but not as much as at the beginning. So somewhere in here, I might balance between the 4 and the 3 with a 5. Nah. But you can just play with these numbers. And are we fixing the data? Yes, but within the constraints of what we know about the physics that is going on. And the fact that we don't really know the value for average sine theta. Once we're done with that, we have a plot that we can start to analyze except one other problem that we need to deal with, and that is right here. We'll cover that in the next movie.